What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with another video. A crown jewel is fast approaching as the WWE brings a new title for its male and female superstars, and that's just the beginning. Join us now as we look at the most shocking rumors you need to know about WWE Crown Jewel 2024. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first rumor. Now, first rumor looks at like WWE calling in more superstars than usual. Now, this year's trip to Saudi Arabia will actually see a larger than usual number of superstars. Now the WWE isn't booking another 50 superstar greatest Royal Rumble, uh, you probably can be sure they would do this in an instant if the sports authority asked for it. Instead, the WWE is taping an episode of Raw on Sunday, another example of how the WWE is linking its weekly television shows with PLEs, and you can be sure the WWE is getting paid extra for Saudi Arabia hosting Raw. Besides inappropriate jokes by Carlito, the WWE can seemingly do no wrong and adding Raw makes sense on two levels. The first is the obvious financial incentive, the second is that it gives WWE superstars a breather where they don't have to take a grueling flight home to perform on Monday. As we know, the WWE came into major issues during the 2019 Crown Jewel where superstars were supposedly held hostage. Number 2. Smackdown vs Raw now, the addition of Champion vs Champion matches at Crown Jewel is an obvious throwback to Survivor Series when the Raw and SmackDown champions battle their counterparts. While there isn't a contest between the Red Brand and the Blue Brand's Tag Team Champions, which is unfortunate as both brands have solid Tag Team Champions, the idea of seeing interbrand competition with something at stake is fascinating, well at least on paper. The prize of the winners receiving a Crown Jewel Championship is something tangible, unlike Survivor Series where the wrestlers fought for bragging rights. While the idea of winning a title that's only defended in Saudi Arabia may seem like the equivalent of winning a set of steak knives, these contests should set things up for other storylines in the WWE. First, the WWE can book its world champions in matches that are unlikely to happen for some time due to the brand split, primarily Cody vs Gunther, as it's unknown how much people are invested in long-term feuds between Nia Jax and Liv Morgan, or Nia Jax and anyone else for that matter. The WWE can give Gunther or Cody a win, setting things up when they clash down the road, presumably over a title. There's also the likelihood the WWE will use the Crown Jewel Championship matches to develop other storylines. Just what those storylines may be, we'll have to find out. Number 3. The Rock Shock Appearance A recent report from Fightful Select is hinting that fans should expect more appearances from The Rock. At least sources within WWE claim that the company is a priority for The Rock and is expected in the fold here and there in sporadic fashion. Higher ups at Fightful spoke to said that The Rock has made it clear he's part of the family and he will appear when he's able to. As we'll see, this could lead to an important appearance this Saturday. Number 4. The Surprise Return of a Megastar now, Saudi Arabia loves the WWE to bring in its biggest superstars and expect it considering how much it pays the company, but there are superstars and then there are megastars, generational talents whose status still makes them must-see individuals. For example, John Cena, who is embarking on his retirement tour, set to conclude at the end of 2025, would make for a fantastic addition to the show. However, Cena's past refusal to work in Saudi Arabia due to the company's terrible human rights record kind of makes it unlikely he'll appear. However, two names have been popping up that will pop the crowd whose appearances make storylines sense. As number 5, Goldberg costs Gunther. A Bill Goldberg's appearance at Bad Blood and subsequent confrontation with Gunther quickly fueled speculation that the WWE was setting things up for the retirement match Vince McMahon allegedly promised but never delivered. While a Goldberg vs Gunther bout would be a huge way for Dollar Bill to go out, the WWE quickly shut down rumors that Goldberg would face Gunther at Survivor Series or WrestleMania. However, skeptical fans, as well as ourselves, aren't taking the rumors at face value and treating them as the usual WWE smokescreen employed to hide future booking plans. While the WWE may not have had plans for Goldberg to battle Gunther at either PLE, more than a few digital detectives believe that Bill will show up at Crown Jewel, resulting in an altercation between Goldberg and Gunther. This in turn will lead to a match at a PLE or even the WWE's upcoming Saturday night's main event special, which is rumored to be a loaded show. Goldberg may even influence the Cody vs Gunther match, spearing Gunther and costing him a shot at the Crown Jewel title. While fans may be disappointed at the tainted finish, the WWE may not want to give a conclusive finish to Cody vs Gunther so soon. After all, they are two of WWE's biggest stars at the moment. Making one weaker than the other kind of makes that specific title more inferior. Number 6. The Rock Returns 
How is the rock guaranteed to appear at Crown Jewel? While we're not promising a rock return, consider these factors. Number one, the rock returned at Bad Blood, giving fans a huge tease as to what he was doing there after Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns defeated Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu. Number two, Survivor Series follows Crown Jewel at the end of the month. And number three, the WWE wants to spark the build for WrestleMania 41, which could feature the final boss battling Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. Well, let's break down these three factors. The Rock will likely appear to explain why he's back, possibly revealing whose side he's on, that is Solo or Roman's, and this could lead to the second factor, Survivor Series and a war games between Roman's team and Solo Sokoa's team. Could The Rock wrestle in this match, and if so, on whose side? Crown Jewel could shed light on this or give fans a reason to tune in to the following Friday Smackdown, but one or both of the first two factors will provide the catalyst for the WrestleMania triple threat. Add in a rare appearance by the Great One in Saudi Arabia, and you have many reasons to expect The Rock this Saturday. Number 7. Two One and Duns A Crown Jewel has high stakes matches from the bottom to the top, whether it's feuds or title matches. Two matches to keep an eye on are Bronson Reed vs Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens vs Randy Orton. In terms of storytelling, these matches are interesting as it could end each of the respective programs at Crown Jewel. While both matches feature red-hot feuds, the WWE has bigger plans for Rollins and Owens, which means they can't be bogged down in a feud that drags out too long. The WWE is preparing the visionary for a program with CM Punk, while rumor has it that Kevin Owens will face Cody Rhodes in December at Saturday Night's Main Event Special. While it's possible the WWE could book rematches at Survivor Series, the WWE's policy of 4-5 to five matches per show reduces these chances. Furthermore, the WWE may not have TV time, particularly on Raw thanks to losing an hour, to squeeze in any additional matches. Whilst we're on the subject, number 8, any additional matches? A Crown Jewel currently features 6 matches, and as reported last weekend, the WWE has added a 6-man featuring Roman Reigns and the Usos against Solo Sokova's Bloodline. As a result, don't expect to see any additional matches on Saturday. Number 9, more Bloodline debuts. A Saturday's match between Roman Reigns and the Usos of Jay and Jimmy vs Solo Sokoa's Bloodline, just which three members will compete remains unknown, is another important chapter in the seemingly endless Bloodline storyline and one to that the WWE's credit is continuing to squeeze life from it. Now, there are two major questions going into the match. How will it set things up for a War Games match between the two factions and whether a new Bloodline member will appear? The WWE has shown its adaptness at keeping the WWE Universe guessing about the Bloodline story, including its clever addition of Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa before Jacob Fatu, as well as Roman Reigns' well-orchestrated return. While it's been reported that Hikulia has joined the WWE, he is yet to appear even on NXT or the main roster. However, could Crown Jewel be the stage for his massive debut? But with rumors that Zilla Fatu could also join the WWE, fans have to wonder if Fatu could show up Saturday. Fans are already curious about which side he'll take if he joins the WWE, especially since Roman and the Usos are already outnumbered 3 to 4, although some fans suspect Sami Zayn could join Roman and company, and any other returns. Now, as always, fans will be watching Crown Jewel for any surprise returns. Names like Alexa Bliss and Charlotte Flair come to mind, while the official story is that they're not expected back until late or early 2025, fans know to expect the unexpected. While nothing suggests a program for either superstar, at least based on the card, they could make an appearance for no other reason than to pop the crowd and tease the fans for their eventual return. But there you have it folks, the most shocking rumours you need to know about Crown Jewel 2024. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.